All right, boys and girls, Mr. Drungason is back again with the last page of today's packet. Um, we are going to go over reading comprehension check number 11. Okay, so here we go. Point, ready, read, directions, read the passage, answer the questions. Okay, all right, I'm going to go ahead and go through and look at our, uh, read our packet and see what we're looking for, okay? So here we go. Point, ready, read. March Madness. For sports fans, March is the best time of the year. That's when college basketball has its big tournament. March Madness is more fun than the Super Bowl. Instead of just one game, it has many. The tournament begins with 68 basketball teams. Wow, that's a lot of basketball teams, boys and girls, so that's kind of crazy. For women, there are 64 teams. After each game, the loser is eliminated. The winner goes on to play another winner. Hmm, that's a bolded word. We're going to have to come back to that and see what that means. Okay, here we go. When there are only 16 teams left, they are called the Sweet 16. Then there are the Elite 8. Near the end of March, four winning teams are left. They are called the Final Four. These games get very exciting. This year, Duke will probably win. They are the best team. Okay, so let's go ahead and read our questions. What is March Madness? A, the championship team. B, a basketball tournament. C, part of the Super Bowl, or D, a college called Duke. Hmm. If I remember correctly, Mrs. Fine always had us go back and look for evidence in our text. So if I go back, and I think it was in the first paragraph, it says, March Madness is when college basketball has, a, has its big tournament. College basketball has its big tournament. Hmm. So, if we look at it, what is March Madness? It is a basketball tournament. And a really fun one at that. Okay. Here we go, boys and girls. Number two. What is the author's purpose in this text? Hmm. What is the author's purpose in this text? Mm, go ahead and think about that for a second. What is the author's purpose in this text? All right, boys and girls. So what is the author's purpose of this text? Hopefully you had a chance to go ahead and uh, try that on your own. So let's see. I think the author's, author's purpose in this text is to to inform oops, inform us about what March Madness is. Oh, excuse me. All right, here we go. Number three, what does the word eliminated mean? How can you tell? Hmm. Remember, boys and girls, I went and underlined it, underlined that over here, eliminated. So let's go back and look at our text. So after each game, the loser is eliminated. Hmm. What do you think that is? Eliminated. Eliminated. Hmm. All right. I think the word eliminated means um, you you lose and are out of the tournament. Okay. All right. Why does the author think March Madness is better than the Super Bowl? Okay. We're going to go over this in just a second, okay? 